Hello, uh, this will be a quick video. I just want to demonstrate my new script. Uh, so this script is a track snapshot, so you can uh, keep multiple versions of your track. It's similar to what you already have with SWS uh, snapshots that you can find here. Uh, but it is a uh, have more functions to it and I think you might like it so I mm, I am making this video to demonstrate the functions it has so basically uh, you select the track you want to make a snapshot then to click save snapshot then you need to put a name to it so default and then I don't know, you can like add items. Let me change the color. Uh, let me change the color of the items too. Put some envelope, another envelope here. Uh, what else we can do? Name it yellow and add some effects via EQ um, let me do this so let me save this snapshot as yellow yellow so now we have two snapshots I can go from one to another uh, you can uh, uh, let me create an even another one without some items here without this, without this, actually let, let us remove it clear envelope, yes so save snapshot uh, I will change the color to, to red save snapshot red okay, so now you can have multiple versions of your track uh, you even have more options here, if you right click a snapshot uh, you can overwrite, so for example here in the default let's say that I want to overwrite with this configuration you right click, overwrite, now if I go back to default you have the tracks there, the items so let me overwrite again okay, this is the overwrite function uh, you also have the option to load in a new track so you can load it in new tracks uh, and let me oh, the snapshot sh that is displaying here it's based on your selected tracks but you can show all snapshots here in configs only show select track snapshots you made this false and you can see all of them you can change if even if you are not selecting the track like if I am selecting this track I even can change the first one there uh, so you can delete a snapshot rename it to Pikachu um, oh you can address some shortcuts so click shortcuts this window shows up you can click key shortcut one shortcut. so now instead of clicking here I can just click with my keyboard and I change them it's a really cool this uh, oh uh, let me see configurations, you have more options here uh, this will prevent snapshot shortcuts so if you don't want to uh, accidentally click it you can enable it uh, show two tips will show some two tips in some places to help you to understand what is what and let me select this again uh, here you have more options to what you will load in your track so here you are loading all if you click here you have options so for example if you just select items 
you will be changing just the item. If you select uh, colors, just color, you are just, you are just changing, changing track color, change name. Um, you can ch select just the effects. And even if you have a big effects like uh, ozone, uh, the changes are done uh, in real time, so you don't have to wait. Only if you are like adding and removing ozone, then you will have the delay. But if you have, let me delete this, this, and this. If you have, like, shoots with ozone, so ozone default. And let me change a bit. Uh, Ozone strange EQ and let me do one thing more. Let me make some of this. Okay. And let me save it as uh, save the track. Ozone strange envelope. <laughs> so as you can see, it changes as I click it. I don't have to wait anything. Let me load all actually. Uh, inside load all, you have track envelopes and inside track envelopes, you can change what envelopes you are changing. Um, and Selecting all of these is different than changing load all. If you want to load all, just select load all because there are things that are not here that are here. Minimal things, but I uh, advise you to just check load all if you want to load all. Uh, and another thing you can also do is select multiple tracks and make snapshots to multiple tracks so here snapshot one let me change no, I don't know the colors create some items let me paint this here um, select all of them again new items put some volume here, some pen, change the volume, put this as record and save as rec. Now you can change it, it will follow what you save it and if you right click these tracks you can even load, uh, select which one you are loading, if you want to just load uh, track 2 you can click here, it will load just track 2. Uh, so you can select which track you want to add. Uh, you can remove just one track from the snapshot. One thing that might happen to you is uh, if you delete one track from the snapshot, for example here I have this three snapshots and let's say that I delete this uh, what will happen is this track will become orange and you will only see if you disable only show select track snapshot because if you have this uh, selected you wouldn't be able to select the deleted track one obviously and of course if you uh, control Z and recover it, you will have it back again. But if you delete and can recover it, uh, you can click to show all snapshots. Uh, you will see in orange the snapshots that you are with uh, missed tracks. You can right click it. And here we will show the tracks. You have track one, track two and three. 
that is in the project and unnamed track is the track that was missing that I deleted and you can like create a new track for the track missing and then you are back on tracks okay let me delete another one again all of them will become uh, orange you have other options um, this here create a new track for the track missing uh, you have also the option to substitute track with the track selected this happens if you uh, you can yourself create a track to it and select it go here substitute this track with track selected then you can click it and it updates all missing tracks uh, you can if you have one missing you can also remove it from the snapshot if you don't need it anymore you can also load it in a new track but this won't substitute and put this new track uh, as a track to use in the snapshot so if you load and call it it won't load there oh and if you have a track that is deleted from the snapshot you can still call it but it will only change the remaining ones of course so oops actually i wanted to click create new track for the track missing create new track for the track missing okay we are and this is the track i created you also have the substitute function even if you don't have a track deleted for example let's substitute this track here with this default one so I select uh, the new track here I come in blank and uh, let me select track 1 and substitute this track with track selected and if you hold shift it will apply to all snapshots that use this track I hold the shift so now it loaded here so now if I change the snapshot instead of changing this track I change the, that one uh, yeah that's all the script is in my real pack I will leave the link in the description and it is free so just go there and download it <laughs>